Hi, brothers and sisters in Christ. This is Glenn. Welcome to the video. Uh, this video is going to be on a dream slash vision that I had uh, years ago uh, concerning how. So I'm going to share it. Uh, I did write about this on uh, my blog, aliensrevealed.blogspot.com. Uh, but it's it was so horrific and vivid. I can remember everything. I don't, I'm not reading off the script. I, for these videos, I'm not reading off the script. So, um, so anyway, it happened years ago when I first became a believer, and I went to sleep. And as part of the dream vision, like it was like I was awake, but I was seeing what was happening. And if you're familiar with my testimony, there are no aliens, they're demons. And anyway, this demon looked like what people would describe as a uh, gray alien. And with the, you know, the, the big head and the black eyes. Now, in this dream, it was in front of me. I wasn't in hell, but it's like I was, it's almost like it was a, when you see in movies, like a two-way mirror, like I was, I was watching what was happening. And uh, so this demon is in front of me. And it's dark. And uh, it, it has a shotgun. And I know what you're thinking, a shotgun, and how, yeah. And I thought the same thing, like a shotgun and how, but I'm telling you what I saw. So it had a shotgun. So you got the, just evil. You got the black eyes. Now, this demon had a smile like from a horror movie, just this demonic, demonic smile. And um, behind the demon, so I'm looking here, there's the demon right here. Behind the demon further out, there are five men on the ground. I believe the ground was dirt from what I could see. Uh, it was very like dark. You know, nothing around um so five men two of the men were um laying face down i couldn't see their faces and all i could see was like their hair at the top of their head now the one in the middle was was sitting facing directly at me i saw him and he looked like a Buddhist monk. That's what he looked like. Uh, he was even even uh, sitting in the monk position. And I believe he even, uh, from my memory, he even had the thing going across his uh, chest. So, and he, he was elderly. And I, I, none of us are good, but I, you know, I got the feeling that during this person's lifetime. This is just what I felt um, was that, you know, he was, uh, it's not like he was out murdering anyone. He was a, you know, fairly decent person, but none of us are good. That's the thing. That's why we need Jesus. And so he was facing me, sitting in the, the uh, monk position. And to his left or my right um there were two other men who were face down again and they were actually like almost like laying on top of each other so this demon with this huge satanic smile walks to the one on the left and blows its head off, blows the, the guy's head off, and walks, you know, to the next one, 
blows the second guy's head off with the shotgun. And before this happened, you could feel the the fear of these people. And then it got to the Buddhist monk, blew his head off. His head just came right apart. And then it did it to the next two as well. And this happened over and over again. And I'll tell you what happened. So once it blew the last person's head off, one important detail is that I didn't see any blood, especially with the um, Buddhist monk. The It was just fragments. It was just dust and bone fragments, no blood. And when it finished killing the last one, just like in a horror movie, and this is where I think they get this from, like a lot of these horror movies are influenced by the demonic. Um, it goes back to the start and everything rewinds. So the, uh, the, like the, the Buddhist monk's head, all the fragments and everything in a very demonic horror movie way came all right back to where it was all back to, uh, to the way that it was before they were killed. And these people never tried to escape. They never said a word. They never moved. And it, it was just repeated. So then the demon would go again with this big smile on his face. Demonic smile, almost like a joke. I, I think in the blog I described it as like a joker smile. And I've seen this in horror movies, this part. And uh, he, he goes through it all over again. And the same fear that they felt the first time, they felt that every time. And it was just hopelessness. There was no hope. There is no escape. There's no escape from hell. And it was absolutely horror, just horror. Uh, and this was worse than a horror movie because I was seeing it right in front of me. And the, the demon who was doing this took more joy out of watching my reaction than doing the actual act. I can't make this stuff up. So the demon was taking more pleasure. They get pleasure out of this. There's no mercy. I'm going to do a, an, another video on uh, uh, you know, some of my experiences and uh, just kind of know your enemy. And they, uh, you know, th that killing people and destroying, as Jesus said, Satan comes to steal and destroy. That is the pleasure they get because they're going to the lake of fire for all eternity and they want to take as many people with them as they can. Now, unfortunately, for the people that I saw in front of me, there's no escape. There's no hope. And eventually, they're going to end up in the lake of fire. So, I just wanted to share that. Um, if you don't have Jesus, if you haven't called on Jesus, receive his free gift. He paid the price with his blood. 
He was crucified. He died. He was buried. And on the third day, he rose again, according to the scriptures. And he's coming back very soon. And the rapture is very soon. And if you don't have a personal relation, it's not about religion. If you don't have a personal relationship with Jesus, it's time to have one now. Because you don't want to be left behind during the uh, tribulation period. So I wanted to share that. I know it's not uh, the most uplifting thing, but hell is a reality. And unfortunately, um, many churches don't even discuss it. Some churches deny it exists. It's real. And there's thousands of people every day going there because they rejected the only way to be saved. That's why Jesus is the narrow way. He's the only way. And it's not of works of ourselves. It's receiving his payment for our sins. So do yourself a favor. It's the most important decision you can ever make. If you haven't chosen Jesus, call on him now and be saved. God bless you. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, give it a like if you can. And subscribe, set your notifications. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Take care.